Welcome back to another Sebastian story. back at it again telling our sweet boy's story and of course Sebastian's our Cani Corso Italiano and our sweet little Luna Petunia up front here also part Cani Corso and Great Dane she's actually part of the subject of our story this week is our doing our uh, Cani Corso pup dates of we got a one year and a near four year old and we wanted to share everything that uh, well that these two have taught us and <laughs> likes to test the boundaries any chance they get because it's fun <laughs> But nevertheless, we are just filled with love, filled with joy at all times. These are just the greatest pappies we could have ever hoped to uh, be able to rescue and give good homes and good lives to and everything else. Um, Luna's just been growing up so well. We are just so proud of her. Um, she really fell into line very quickly. Last summer was definitely a bit trying. She really thought it was a lot of fun and a great game to see how much... Uh, how much she could test me and what uh, I'd be willing to let her get away with, which was nothing. And so there was certainly a good bit of yelling, uh, a good bit of uh, raised voices and what are you doing? But um, uh, once we established that, you know, no kid, you know, you can, you can be our, our little, uh, our little mama as we call her. No, she's uh, she is spayed. She is not going. We are not going to have her be breeding any of our dogs. We want them all to be able to just go live their own good independent lives. Um, but nevertheless, she she just has such a strong maternal instinct. Um, Sebastian is her child, just as Vera, our sweet cat, is her child. And uh, she kind of sees both uh, me and Bernadette, my wife, the same way. And we're okay with that because she she's real sweet and real loving about it. But uh, that also just means when that switch gets flipped and uh, she thinks that uh, once somebody's in danger or there's a sound that she heard that she can't explain... Things are in a different playing field at that point. <laughs> we just adore her. She is. We we can't wait to see just who she gets to grow up to be. Because again, with Connie Corso, it takes four years for this breed to develop and mature. Um, Sebastian, almost being four in August now. Um, now this is probably more related to his malnourishment when he was a baby and his abuse that broke his paw and everything else that happened to him. Um, he started cutting some teeth again. Uh, he still had a few gaps in his, in his gum line, and they seem to be trying to fill themselves back in here. So uh, if you recall our Entropian video from a month or two ago, um, we're going to have to still hold off. Thankfully, he hasn't been too bothered by his eyelid lately, uh, but we will have to redo that surgery in the future. But as he is demonstrating that he is still growing, no one's going to want to do a surgery on a dog that's still growing because it may then have to be redone a third time. Uh, so we're avoiding all of that, but uh, yeah, these two are just amazing. And one trick I've actually been able to figure out is uh, because these dogs are so desperate for my approval, you know, as the as the alpha, the pack leader, uh, training them actually became a bit easier when one is doing one thing that they're supposed to be, the other one immediately wants to fall in lines because they realize that I'm saying, good dog, good boy, good girl, you know, always that positive reassurance and uh, reinforcement. And that has the other one automatically going, oh, I better do that too. And it's really been a great trick uh, in helping these two uh, be as obedient as we want them to be. Uh, and despite their size and their uh, tenacity and sometimes ferocity, uh, these two are so wonderful. They know they're not in competition with each other otherwise. So when it comes to food and feeding, there is zero aggression. And we were very specific on that, that we will not allow them to behave that way, because they're just, they're too big, they're too strong, they're too powerful. You can't have dogs like these being food aggressive. I mean, you shouldn't have any dog like that, but with these dogs, it it could present a whole other set of problems that we really would prefer to avoid. So, uh, got to make sure these two are always uh, as polite as we uh, can get them to be, and uh, again, you know, feeding time, Sebastian's always understood that you sit, and uh, he'll He'll sit and wait patiently while I'm putting his food together. And Luna, 
Luna does not just feel, she just simply does not feel any need to uh, surge for food or anything like that. Um, unless she's really hungry at that particular moment when I'm making their meals, she'll go and lay on the couch and be like, okay, I'll go get it when I feel like it. Thanks, Dad. Uh, okay, kid, great. But Sebastian, of course, is right there. Oh, it's, 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 it's breakfast time. Oh, it's dinner time. You know, it's, it's still his favorite thing, but uh, uh, they're doing great with that. But aside from the seemingly endless growth, and I mean, it's again, we go to physical therapy every week, and every week they're just they they can't believe he just looks like he's gotten a little bigger in some dimension. Um, his weight still stayed pretty consistent, and he's just he's doing wonderfully. Um, we just got to keep a real close eye on that paw, and we're gonna have to start. Um, uh, getting his uh, brace involved a bit more because he's starting he's starting to feel a little bit more achiness I've been noticing and sometimes his paw turns out a little bit more again like it did when he first came home so uh, it's definitely struggling with that but um, you know we're doing everything we can for him and uh, you know it's unfortunately there's nothing really we can do beyond trying to keep that paw strong there's not a surgery that's going to be able to repair that for him the only surgery would be to fuse the joint and that's not a solution to his problem um so we uh we, we just got to help him live with it as best as he can and uh keep that big smiling happy pappy uh smiling as he always is but overall they're just doing absolutely wonderfully spectacularly all of the things it's it has been so much fun it's such a privilege to have these two in our home um i you know we <laughs> my my wife had been pushing for dogs for a long time and i had having a, had experience with dog rescue as a teenager I knew one was going to become many, so I pushed back for a long time saying, oh, we got to be ready, we got to be ready, and I'm really thankful I, I did, because especially since we ended up with Connie Corso, uh, these dogs just take it to a whole other level. Their uh, energy is so high, and it's so much demand just on, on us and our ability to help them get all that energy spent every single day. Um, it's been doing great things. I mean, I've, I've had to start lifting weights to be able to keep up with these dogs at this point. They're too strong. They're too fast. Um, and they just, they have such drive that, um, you know, it's, it's great for me then too, because now I really have to push myself, uh, to keep up with them. And as we continue to add to our pack, um, all of that's going to factor in and, um, we think, especially with uh, Luna's sweet little uh, maternal instincts and everything, uh, I, she's about ready for a puppy, um, and it'll be great because Seb Sebastian loves the little puppies. I mean, again, his, one of his best friends uh, before they moved away was a little terrier, and so the size is not an issue, and he demonstrated with her that he has all of the ballerina footsteps to never injure or step on a little puppy. Um, as big and crazy as he can be, he understands he's got to be gentle. It's a baby. You got to be sweet. And I'm sure Luna will be right in line with that too. And yeah, we can't wait to uh, see all the other babies that come through our pack. And uh, just again, it's, it's dog rescue. We just want to give them all the best life possible. And uh, we're going to keep telling our story uh, all about that. So please follow along. Thank you. As always, thank you very much for watching. We're having a great time telling these stories, and we'll be back again soon with more. Thanks again!